imagine if you found yourself in a movie theater. You went go to see a movie, and you walk into a movie theater. It's completely empty, and you sit in the place where you like to sit. And you're enjoying your popcorn, waiting for the movie to start. And somebody else comes into the movie theater, and they sit down right next to you. Right? How would you feel if that happened? Um, probably you would feel icky, right? And that was kind of, that would feel kind of creepy, right? Now, how do you know it's creepy? I don't know how you know it's creepy. You didn't learn it was creepy. No one, you didn't take a class in where do I sit in the movies, right? Now let's say you were in that same movie theater and only it was packed and the only available seat was right next to you and some stranger comes and sits there. You would have no problem with that at all. Same personal space, same distance between you and this stranger, yet the social situation makes it okay for that person to sit there. So a person with autism does not pick up those clues. So I think we're going to see more and more that there are going to be kids who have this sort of more high-functioning form of autism who um, are, uh, should be able to contribute to the world and be productive citizens of the world. Practically my whole life I've known about this. And I guess just don't think about it too often, so it's like it, it's not there. I'll have to be in the same classes, but mostly what I was in was co-taught classes, like for, with two teachers, and I did go to some speech classes to help me out with, you know, the whole speech thing, because trouble's talking. The best part about the program was, um, this is the one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions, and because, like, you get to talk one-on-one -on -one to a teacher, and they can sit there, help me figure out what I need to do, what I need to do for future, how to do it, and help me with any homework that I'm having troubles on. Kids who will grow up to be the movers and shakers of the world.